Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Today it's mid, mid-ish, February, and we're getting a lot of questions about bluebirds. This is, happens every year, and it's part of one of the earliest signs of the change to the nesting season. And I know you've noticed birds singing in the morning, cardinals are singing, red-bellied woodpeckers are singing. We're even getting reports of uh, you know, cardinals banging into the windows trying to chase their reflections away. So this is the early part of uh, the nesting season, that is start, starting to set up territories. There, you know, cardinals are still gonna allow multiple cardinals to feed at the feeders at, at this point, but as that the season goes along, they'll get more and more defensive of your yard and things like that. But right now, uh, if you're a bluebird landlord, uh, you know, and you uh, will get calls any day now the, the, of a pair of bluebirds hanging around bluebird boxes and it gets people really excited because you know, they're going to nest, they're going to nest. Well, this is way too early for bluebirds to lay eggs. What is going on is that early stages of pair bonding. So the males and females are flirting, if you will, or they're, 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 they're strengthening their pair bond. You'll even see them take a sprig of grass and pass it to the other one and the other one grab it. Um, and, and then uh, they'll go in and out of bluebird boxes. Like I said, that gets people excited. They'll even take a sprig or two of, of, of fresh grass into your nest boxes. So this is when you need to get your nest boxes ready. Now they're not gonna lay eggs in our area here in Kansas City until probably early April maybe late March, but early April is usually when they start uh, laying eggs, but they are uh, checking out potential nesting sites. So you want your nest boxes to be as attractive for them as they can. So we're in the process of, this is a great month to be updating your boxes, make any repairs to them, change, and obviously get them cleaned out. Now I like leaving some nesting material in my box over the winter in case the bluebirds are uh, you know, going to roost in there at night. It gives them a little extra insulation. But now is the time that we probably should clean that nesting material out because bluebirds don't reuse the old nesting material. They'll just build a whole new nest on top of the old nest and then they'll, they'll you know, if you don't clean it out, they'll fill the whole nest box up, which is not safe for them. So we want you to uh, make sure you get the nest box cleaned out. And then like I said, they may take some sprigs of grass in there, but also do repairs. Like if for instance, your, your hole has been wallowed out by a squirrel chewing on it, or a woodpecker's maybe beat it out a little bit larger. Well, if you, that, whole size becomes larger than one and a half inches in diameter, other birds and even squirrels can get their head in there. And you want to get that resized back down to one and a half inches uh, in diameter because bluebirds, like all birds, like the hole to be just big enough for them to be able to squeeze into. And one and a half inches is it. And a couple of ways you can do that. Well, this one, this box already has a guard on it, a metal guard that keeps uh, the, the squirrels from being able to chew on it. But if you don't have that on your box and your box has, has been chewed, you can always use uh, we have you know the washers and and other more pr and prettier uh, metal things that you can actually resize your hole by putting it on the box so you get it back down to an inch and a half and then you also have things like these which extend the hole and and, and are, are predator guards to a certain extent because that's the next thing we're going to talk about is making your house safer you know last season maybe a uh, black rat snake got into your box and ate the eggs or a raccoon was able to get his hands in there and, and, and tear the, the nest up. Uh, things you can do to help protect your bluebirds. One, if it was a, a, a suspect a black snake got in there, one, one of the only solutions I know for that, and it's the easy, is easy, is to move your box. And I don't mean to your front yard. I mean you can move it 10 feet one way or the other because that if that black snake is still alive this year, he will check that house out again. They know where they had successful hunts last year. Same thing with raccoons. They'll revisit a site that they had, you know, found eggs or babies and, and uh, year after year. So you want to, if you had a nest disruption like that, plus the birds remember that too, uh, that they, they got uh, disturbed in that nest of their box. And so they, they may not go back in there again. So if you move it even just 10 feet, you can foil a black snake. So um, that is something you, you might want to consider if you did have a nest disturbance. The other thing is, of course, adding things like this, and these just fit on the hole like this. And what that does, the bluebirds will continue to go in and it's got a little landing for them. But 
uh, the, is harder for if a raccoon does get on top of your box, it's much harder for them to reach in there. It, it lengthens that distance they try to have to reach in there and get. So um, these are actually pretty cool to, to put on your boxes and the bluebirds use them. Um, but if you want to go further, if you want to really prevent, try to prevent raccoons from climbing your poles, then, you know, we have baffles. And the baffles are big and they go on your pole just like that, you know, over the top and they dangle there. And to be effective against raccoon, they have to be these big ones. We call them the stove pipes. And they, they're long enough that the raccoons can't climb them. If you don't want to go to that expense and you want to try something else, one of the things I learned years ago that bluebird landlords use are carpet tack strips. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but these are what, you know, when you lay in carpet in your house, they put this against the walls, and then when they lay the carpet, the carpet catches on these tacks that are on here. So there's lots of real prickly tacks on there. And people will put these on their poles and make, make three of them and turn outward, and they use baling wire to wrap around there to get them to stay in place and then when the raccoon or the black snake climbs that pole they their paws hit those tacks or their bellies of the snake hit those tacks and they keep them from climbing them the tacks aren't long enough to really impale a bird or anything like that but uh it does keep things from uh, and people have had a lot of luck with these to keep the raccoons from trying to climb their poles and stuff so that's something you can try i think this thing cost me three dollars this little set i broke it in three pieces so uh very, it, it's an inexpensive way to do it and one thing i always like to remind people of and that is of course nest lifts if you've never had one this is a good time to add a nest lift and we're going to turn this to the side and this box already has a nest live in it, but we try to sell ones that do have it. And that is just a way to keep the nesting material that the birds are bringing in, the grass is off the bottom of the box. And, you know, no matter how tight a bluebird box is, there's still going to get, there's going to be rain that gets in there. And she'll build her, her nest on top of the, the nest lift. And that way, if the water gets in there, the water's underneath and the, and the grass isn't getting wet. So nest lifts are a great idea and it, it, it's better for the health of the bird. So if you haven't had, used those before, this is a great time to add a nest lift to your box. So a lot of things you can do to get ready for your bluebirds. Um, they, like I said, they're not going to nest until, or lay eggs until, oh, I, I, you, like I said, first of April. April around here is when, it, when we can usually count on it, but uh, they will start checking your boxes out, so you want to get them ready. So, great idea for a program, perfect for this time of year. Uh, the weather turned beautiful today after our snow just the other night. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's the Midwest, uh, but the bluebirds are going to start looking around, so be ready for them. Uh, if you like the programs, please give them a like, give them a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Until then, come by. Let's talk birds.